Well, it's another one of those days again, because there has just been another leak for more FNAF merch. And when I say more FNAF merch, I mean more FNAF merch. Specifically, the wave is uh, aligned for Five Nights at Freddy's AR merch. And while we have already gotten some FNAF AR merch in the past, being uh, merch of uh, Choco Bonnie, Easter Bonnie, and two new chocolate characters, as well as Freddy Frostbear, there's another wave. And uh, this time, we're going to be getting more skins of characters, which is going to be interesting. Before we start, let me just say that there is going to be a Liberty Chica plush in action figure, but there haven't been any leaks of her just yet, so we're going to have to wait for that. So, sorry Chica, but your merch is not leaked in this video. Away it goes! To start, we are going to be taking a look at the mystery minis. For our first few minis, we have VR Toy Freddy, High Score Toy Chica, and her 8-bit cupcake, Radioactive Foxy, and System Air Toy Bonnie. I'm just gonna say right off the bat, these guys look absolutely adorable. Now, I'm just gonna go over some like minor nitpicks I have with these guys, because I do not actually own any mystery minis at the moment, so I can't really compare them to any others. Yeah. Why does Radioactive Foxy have eye pupils? and eyelashes, that, that's probably gonna make him the weakest one out of all of them in my opinion. Because all the other ones just actually look decent, but Radioactive Foxy's the only one I don't really like. That's just my opinion though, everyone else can have their opinions. Now for the next few, we have Frostbite BB, Mangle, 8-Bit Baby, and Toxic Springtrap. Toxic Springtrap looks fine, I don't really understand the black there. It is cool how we're actually getting Mangle instead of just Toy Foxy. Frostbite BB looks pretty good, and now we have 8-Bit Baby. Probably my personal favorite out of this entire set. I never thought that we could get perfection from a Funko product. Well, aside from Dreadbear's plush, of course, but... Anyway, 8-Bit Babies is just so accurate, and it's hard to believe that's a simplified version, because it literally almost looks like how 8-Bit Baby does in the game. Because of that, 8-Bit Baby is my personal favorite out of all these guys. Now, for our last few figures, we have Attack Mode VR Toy Freddy, Arctic Flora, Heartsick Baby, and Blackheart Bonnie. Now, Attack Mode Toy Freddy looks pretty good. He definitely looks like he's trying to be intimidating, and that's good. The only thing I'm not a fan of here is the pupils. Well, the eyes in general. The pupils are fine, but he's not supposed to have full white, normal eyes, like, bro. But, Arctic Flora looks pretty good. Looks like a simplified version of Arctic Flora. Heartsick Baby is probably my second least favorite of this whole set. Just cause the uh, face looks a bit weird and I don't understand the golden wings. Blackheart Bonnie does look pretty good too, it, in my opinion. It's probably one of the best ones of this whole set. Aside from 8-Bit Baby, of course. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the plus- Well, actually awesome plush productions. There are some other action figures that weren't in the previous leak. Thank you, awesome plush productions. I really appreciate the reminder. Okay, so first we got Attack Mode VR Toy Freddy as our first action figure that wasn't in the previous leak. This guy looks pretty good. They did the eyes right here on like in the Attack Mode Toy Freddy uh, Mystery Mini, and that's good. And the colors aren't exactly 100% on point. I feel like the red would have actually worked better for System Air Toy Bonnie. So, yeah. Sorry VR Toy Freddy. I mean, Attack Mode VR Toy Freddy. He was almost perfect if not for that one mishap. Here we have a, a figure for the first ever FNAF AR skin to ever exist, Shamrock Freddy. And this guy's literally almost perfection. The colors are great, I love the little rust details on him, because if you look closely at the actual model, he has the rust details. The microphone looks great. The only problem I have with this guy is the upper teeth. Again, Funko, what's with you f***ing up the figures by adding upper teeth to the characters who don't have it? Like, that hasn't been fixed even with any recolors of Freddy. Oh, Funko. Other than that, though, this guy's literally almost perfect, if not for that one mishap, kind of like Attack Mode VR Toy Freddy. Now we have some of these little keychains, and I don't care for these too much since I don't have many of these, but these guys do look pretty good. They definitely are a simplified version of the ones in the game. It is pretty weird, though, how we got uh, the little Funko Pop keychains, or Funko Pops in general, of Toy Bonnie and Toy Chica, with their FNAF AR skins, instead of the original ones, but anyway, these all do look pretty good in my opinion. Okay, now we can get to the plushies. Our first one here is VR Toy Freddy. Now, they did actually change the mold for him, and do have accurate colors, which is good. 
The only thing I complain about, though, is the smile. It looks a bit too cartoonish, even for Funko standards. But other than that, this is a pretty decent plush, and I definitely am looking forward to getting him. The VR mask is a pretty nice touch, too. Also, I do like how they're made out of the same materials Candy Cadet and Phantom Foxy. It actually works for them due to the fact that they're made out of, um, whatever material they're made out of in the game. I'll say that. We have System Air Toy Bonnie. I have Bonnie here because I don't have Toy Bonnie. Now, I want to get Toy Bonnie because the original Toy Bonnie looks like trash, but this one is actually pretty good. He's pretty adorable, and I feel like that's actually what Funko should have done for the original Toy Bonnie pattern. And I know what they're doing here. Funko is making a new base for a character that is a recall in the game because they want to apologize for the awful base of the old one. Good on you, Funko. Now I actually have something good to say about Toy Bonnie product of yours. Oh yeah, and by the angry moment, why are the bow ties for System Air Toy Bonnie and VR Toy Freddy printed on? Did you learn a lesson from Grandma Freddy? <sighs> Unlike Grandma Freddy, though, they do actually look pretty appealing, so I'm not going to edit the bow tie for in it down here. But just like you did, Funko! Now we have a uh, high score Toy Chica, and her pattern is definitely the least different than her original counterpart when compared to the others, because as you see, Radioactive Foxy doesn't have the same base as his uh, FNAF 1 counterpart, but this one is actually closer to the original Toy Chica. I do like that because the Toy Chica base is actually one of my favorite bases that Fungo's ever used for the plushies. Again, they, she is made out of her, um, material. Frick, I don't know what to call it. I'll just call it material, I guess. But anyway, this figure is, I mean, plush is pr pretty solid, and this is definitely one I'm looking forward to getting. Next, we have our skin for Foxy, Radioactive Foxy. Now, this doesn't use the FNAF 1 Foxy base, but... Jesus, I patch is crazy nowadays. Anyway, this guy is... average, in my opinion. There's a lot of printing on the chest, and not in a good way. But... and he doesn't have his two hooks. But other than that, he does have a single hook. And he is cute, I'll give him that. So, yeah. Now, we have a variant that currently only exists through Funko merchandise, which is Chocolate Freddy, or as they refer to it on Funko.com, Candy Freddy. This guy's absolutely adorable. I love the look of him and the bite taken out of his ears cool. I do not have the Chocolate Freddy figure, but I do have the pint-sized hero from the advent calendar that they had. So, this guy is pretty cute and definitely a unique one, as he is an original character by Funko. And in a good way, too, not like Twisted Chica, where she was pointless, but, you know, a character that was good to be created, since it was originally created for the Easter event, and we wouldn't just want to get Easter Bonnies for the whole wave, would we? have another Freddy variant, Shamrock Freddy. This guy looks a bit derpy, in my opinion, but other than that, he's pretty much like the action figure, but in plush form. Yeah, that's really all I have to say about him, because out of all the others... His action figure looks most similar to his plushie, in my opinion. I don't know, the plushies just kind of vary from the action figures in some way. I can't tell if the bow tie is printed on or not because of the angle, but we'll see. We'll see. I do actually think the printed bow tie is fine for the others. Forget what I said earlier, because at least it, it, like, blends in with them, but with Glamrock Freddy, it didn't work because he's supposed to be futuristic, so, yeah. Because of their materials for the Arcade Mayhem ones, the bow ties are fine there, but they do actually have the bow ties for Candy Freddy, and I don't know about Shamrock Freddy because of the angle. Now for our final plushie, sort of, like final original plushie, we have Attack Mode VR Toy Freddy, and I don't understand the red once again, like he's supposed to be orange. Come on, Funko, will you use actual colors that are correct, Funko? Well, I have to do that. You know that Funko fucked it up. <laughs> that was a good one right there. Other than that, though, the pattern isn't too bad. And again, the printed bow tie is fine because it at least blends in with the uh stuff that he's made out of in game. For characters where they're just normal animatronics, though, not the game theme ones, the bow tie should be important. But here it's fine, because at least the materials blend in with it. He 
does look pretty cool. I'll give him that. Coco, why? Attack of the recolors again. You had the balls to make four recolors for the same characters in the same way, but you couldn't make four more skins? Like, come on, there are plenty of skins in the game. Yeah, I don't know whether or not I'm going to be buying these. Maybe I'll buy them, but I'm most likely not going to. Alright, so that concludes today's video, and I don't know about you guys, but aside from those awful recolors, I'm pretty excited from or literally everything else in this wave. So, let me know in the comments below what piece of merch that has just been leaked that you are most excited to get and why. I'm Awesome Plush Productions, and see you all in an Undertale Plush video that's coming very soon.